corporations and the U.S. government are continuing to screw workers, but they just made it even worse. This headline pissed me off. Stores ended hazard pay for their workers. They're still spending hundreds of millions of dollars buying back their stock. All right, so let's just say it up front. Stock buyback should be illegal. They were illegal until I believe it was the 1980s, and I think it was Reagan who changed it. But stock buybacks were illegal. Now they're not. And now, during a pandemic and a depression, these stores that were doing hazard pay ended their hazard pay, so they're going to pay their workers less even though the pandemic's still going on, and they're going to take hundreds of millions and do stock buybacks. Unacceptable. So I'll give you some of the, some of the companies that are doing this. Kroger. They bought back more than $200 million of shares during the latest quarter. And um, the board authorized $1 billion in additional repurchases on Friday. Um, and they stopped their hazard pay in May. They did $2 per hour pay bump during the pandemic. And then they got rid of it, even though the pandemic's still going on. And they're doing a $1 billion worth of stock buybacks. That's insane. Dollar General is another. Their board of directors last month greenlighted $2 billion in stock buybacks. Meanwhile, Big Lots board also authorized a $500 million stock buyback program last month. Big Lots had a $2 hourly pay bump that they ended in early July. The system, I mean, I can't. How many months are we in now to the pandemic? How many months are we in? The government gave you a one-time $1,200 stimulus check. One time. A lot of people are still out of work, man. Can't make ends meet. I told you, recent poll, NPR, 46% of the country is in, quote, serious financial problems. Serious financial problems. 46%, that's half the country. We're talking about major bills not being able to pay. Rent, mortgage, food. There are 30 million people food insecure. And I think that's a low number. And look at how... So the government's abandoned you. And what do they do? They just gave trillions to the corporations. They use this as an excuse to do corporate socialism and hand over a tremendous amount of money to the people who give them money for their campaigns. The heads of these corporations. So they use the pandemic as an excuse to turn over the keys of the treasury to let the wealthy and the corporations loot the treasury. The corporations, the little they did, now they're getting rid of that and doing stock buybacks, which is just a way to juice up their stock price. That's all it is. And so instead of paying workers more, they're just going to juice up stock prices and try to give their shareholders more money. I mean, this is class war. Let's call it what it is. The wealthier waging class war on workers. Now, um, I want to show you what's going on in the rest of the developed world as, as this is happening here. French, the French government, to continue paying up to 84% of salaries for furloughed workers until next summer due to prolonged economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. Isn't that incredible? The French government is going to pay 84% of the salary for furloughed workers until next summer. Until next summer. See, this is how a country that functions, this is what they do when there's a pandemic and everybody's in trouble and nobody knows what to do. This is what a government does when the people, the government is scared of the people in France. Here in the U.S., the people are scared of the government. In France... They have to represent the people because they're scared of the people because they'll all strike. They'll do a general strike at the drop of a hat. And so they know, okay, we got to provide material well-being. We got to do what we got to do. 84%. Imagine sitting at home, furloughed worker, basically on a vacation this entire time. You're making 84% of what you were making when you were working. A lot of developed countries did similar things to this. We got a one-time $1,200 stimulus check. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. And people are on the brink of financial ruin, if not already there. So if we're not going to do the salary idea, then we at least got to pay people a UBI. Because this is getting, this is out of hand. Our entire system in the U.S. is a scam, and this stuff proves it. 